Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about math. So don't let that scare you away. I've zoomed in here. I've got a one inch by one inch square. Now, I've, I work on the computer, on three different computers out in the shop, or one in the house and two in the shop that I run the computer, uh, the laser off of. And so while I'm working out there, I've, I've got a template that tells me fractions that, you know, that um, a half is 0.5, you know, which is, everybody knows that, but there's some fractions you don't, you can't remember them all. So if I wanted to make this box, so I, I measured something with a ruler and it came up to one in a 16th, well, you know, you can go to a calculator and divide 100 by 16 to get 0.65, but you can let Corel do it. So if you'll type in, just like it is, one point for the inch plus one forward slash sixteenth. Now you've got 1.0. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's actually 6.25. But I can't for the life of me figure out how to get the decimal places uh, longer in Corel Draw. So that's an easy one. But let's go, let's, let's say we wanted this box two point plus seven eighths two point eight seven five and that's that's a really easy one too but I mean you could you could type in anything two point plus uh, one thirty second you know it's it's neat so you can use this basically as a calculator now if somebody can tell me how to extend your decimal places out, I would sure like to know. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.